Hey YouTubers, this is Nick from Bad Element Co. and I'm out here to do a little video on um, analog gauge mags. And so these are uh, fancy tactical mags with uh, slits cut and markings and an indicator to tell you how many rounds you have left um, in case you forgot. But uh, these were uh, kind of my invention and they were inspired by um, magazines I've seen in uh, pictures from around the world and conflict zones where the sides will be cut out uh, for a window, so windowed mags. This takes that one step further where the windows are smaller and the follower actually has the, um, the indicator for the round count built into it. So um, it's kind of just for fun. Um, not really saying to take these when you're out operating or whatever you do. Um, but I think for the range use, they're fine, and I even use them uh, in the home defense category since um, some of them have uh, glowing indicators, which you can see at night, and not too much mud in the house. As you can see, the, I can do them. this conversion. I have it currently for $50, but I'll probably raise that because I've got a backlog of gauge mags, and uh, it's just too much time. But I put all my uh, effort into these. Uh, this one was a Magamonth magazine, it's a Bakelite, and it has uh, glow-in-the-dark indicators. Um, so you can see in low dark or low light um, uh, how many rounds you have left. And so that's kind of that uh, home defense um, category. So, you know, for fun, for playing, or for whatever. Uh, this was a uh, slab side uh, steel, and this is a certain style that I offer. And you can notice on some of these that the markings are uh, Arabic numerals and uh, they're just in the, the stylized form that they use over um, uh, overseas so it kind of just goes with the look and goes with the uh, the vibe of these mags and the tradition of the windows you see um, uh, pics of those windowed mags a lot of times over in uh, the Middle East but not just there um, so I refinished this magazine uh, I did a cold blue, so it's got that battlefield pickup finish. Uh, I'm really proud of this one. Some nice work, I think. I'll give myself some props. But it's for a customer. I wish I could keep it, but I sold it. So, um, I'll show you um, how these work a little bit. I've got one here that's uh, loaded up. Again, this is an AK-74, but it's got uh, glowing indicators, green indicators take a couple of rounds out so you can see uh, the indicator is moving along like a gauge the markings these goes uh, 1 5 10 15 20 25 30 you can see the little indicator moving as I load them you might notice that it's not quite lined up but that's uh, on purpose because um, it comes time to uh, uh, load up this magazine I'll show you Now it's on, and it makes sense since, you know, you're going to be using this, this mag. You want to look down to see how many rounds you have. Uh, now it's on. So Something I thought of in the design, and I actually didn't think of it on the first one I did, so it didn't line up when it was loaded, so that's why I made that change, and now it makes sense. And so, saying this is a um, true black polymer, Easy AK-74 mag that you can see I've shown you Bakelite, um, Russian Soviet polymer, steel, uh, slab side, and stamped. This one was the uh, the 40 round Romanian. And you can see the difference in the length here. Okay, um, that's about all I got on that. And um, if you're interested in these magazines and these conversions. Uh, you can email me, nick at badelementco.com. I've got a website, and uh, I'll include a link inside this video. But uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. Uh, Battlement out. Have a good one.